uh, in range for a shot. We'll get the 16 gauge and try to take him out. Just had to make sure I still had buckshot loaded. Hello and welcome back to the Hunter Classic. So today we're here on Logger's Point for another Let's Go Hunt video and we are here because the top comment on the last Let's Go Hunt video was to hunt Bobcat here with the 16 gauge and Feral Hog with the 10 gauge here on Logger's Point. So as usual I'll only be hunting males of any other species we come across and we spawned at the lodge and we're going to fast travel to the tent that I've already circled here. I'll just recircle it again. Uh, I tend to get both Bobcat and Feral Hog there so we'll fast travel there now. And we do have a feral hog calling and it is a female but there might be a male with it uh, we'll hop in the tower and give it a call then look at uh, where we're gonna go from here we do have some kind of looks like mule deer tracks here as well that would be from a doe so I'm not gonna worry about that we'll hop up here in the tower We've actually got some pheasant out there too so from here we are going to head down through the lakes and to the center tower. Usually there's both Bobcat and Feral Hog there as well. And after that, we're just going to continue south. I might fast travel about the time I get to this road. Fast travel down to this tent and probably head all the way down to the tip of the island. And hopefully by then we've gotten a good number of both uh, bobcat and feral hog, but we'll see how it goes. I haven't even called for deer and there's just a random nice mule deer buck walking in 190 to 215 uh, Quite honestly, I think I'll take that over a female feral hog So we've got the 10 gauge loaded with slugs and we'll take him Before he walks behind that brush so No idea what that uh, feral hog was but being that it was a female and I didn't hear any others call so I'm guessing it actually was uh, Alone I'll definitely take this mule deer buck. He should be right around uh, 200. I don't see any major uh, deductions on him, so let's find out. Heart shot and a 203 score, so not a bad way to start at all. The only bad thing about starting off uh, with this guy is that it's still dark. I started at 6 a.m. Okay, I didn't get the opportunity to taxidermize him. That's a bit weird, but I mostly started at 6 a.m. because this map tends to uh, kind of slow down quickly somewhere around 10 a.m. so I thought maybe starting earlier I might be able to get a bit more action for longer. We're not far from where we just fired a shot anyway and we got a male pheasant uh, hanging out down here in the grass so we're just gonna run up to it and flush it and try to take it out of the air with the 16 gauge. It's not very big I think it's a 19 to 25 but let's see if we can get it. Uh, we did and we've got another one coming right at us. Or is it going away from us? Ah it is going away from us. Oh well. I uh, should have shot. I'm pretty sure I could have got it at that range, but I don't think it was very big either. It didn't look like it had a very long tail, and that's, of course, uh, pretty much how they're scored. So let's check what this guy scores and continue down to the lakes. 22.7 score right about the middle uh, of his score estimate, so we'll take that and continue on. We've got something walking down here in front of us. I'm hoping it's the male feral hog I've been tracking because it is... Uh, the max weight estimate of 190 to 205. You can see him there. Was that a male? I didn't get to see what the score estimate said. Uh, but it looks like it is him because he just left a track. Try to spot him. Ooh, that's a nice one. 990 to 1090. And he is down. Hello. I think he was going to charge us. So this one is a 668 score with a left lung and liver shot at three meters and the one that I've been after which luckily didn't even take all that long uh, to track down 1020 score and he's only 193 kilograms so he could actually score uh, a good bit higher if he was closer to the max weight but we'll definitely take that a thousand plus hog already there's one animal that I don't really try uh, to get reasonably realistic looking trophy shots and that is feral hog because it's practically impossible to get a nice looking picture of a feral hog where it looks like it's in a kind of natural uh, position. But yeah, 1020 hog already. That's definitely not bad. Plus we had the bonus one. What it was like 668 or whatever. Uh, just standing there. So this one's going pretty well so far. We'll have to start uh, looking for bobcats because we already got a pretty nice feral hog. We've got another male feral hog here. 642, 750 score estimate. Definitely not anything special. And we'll stand up so you guys can actually see. And he is down. This 10 gauge really is a cannon. Just a pretty easy double lung shot. 
uh, to drop them, and not every weapon will give you a drop shot on these guys with uh, both lungs. But as you can see here, double lung shot and a 694 score for him. Hopefully we'll be starting into Bobcats now, because I think that's our fourth Feral Hog, and like I said, we got a good one already, so I'd like to get a couple of cats as well, but we've got a long way to go. So, no sign of any Bobcats here at the center tower. I've had the collar going for a while, and I've been calling in this female Feral Hog uh, the entire time, and I figured by the time she got here, if no Bobcats uh, were even in sight, apparently there's none in render, so we'll take our Feral Hog out. She is down. We'll have to grab the collar then. I have forgotten it plenty of times. I'll do that first uh, so we actually have it with us for the rest of the hunt. And we'll go grab our hog. And then we will continue south. I did have a bobcat track, but it was an old one heading north. So I don't think that's going to be very useful. There's actually liver, stomach, intestine shot and a 347 score. Nothing special, but interesting that that shot actually took it down without hitting the lungs. We've actually got our second nice mule deer buck of the hunt, 175 to 205 for this guy. And we'll use the 10 gauge slugs again. And he is down. I don't think he's going to be quite 200. It looked like he had uh, the short main beam on at least one side, maybe both. And he's actually kind of face down, so. Uh, that Maybe I'm wrong. One of them's a bit shorter, but he does have a short time. 185 score for him, definitely not too bad. Uh, and we are going to fast travel down to this southern tent. And hopefully start to find some bobcats. We've got two coyotes coming in, one male and one female. I'm going to try to take the female first, which is on the left. And then try to hit the right uh, male as it runs away. But, oh, there's the male down there. Alright, this is not going to work as planned, I don't think. Unless I can figure out where this guy runs to, which I think he's going this way. That's too far, I think. Yeah. Oh well. Got the female anyway. The male wasn't very big. It was only up to 49 score, I think, but I don't know where all the bobcats are. I'm not even getting, uh, like, any tracks from them right now, so hopefully I'm gonna run into one or two down here in the south, because I'm kinda running out of time. 40 scoring female, though, pretty much hit everything with that buckshot. It was kinda reasonably far so that explains that and you can see we're getting pretty far down here in the south I might uh, swing back up that way a bit but I'm gonna at least continue south for now so we finally have a bobcat coming in and it's the dark uh, variation and we've got 5 to 20 kilogram female so it's not very big uh, but we can finally use the 16 gauge buckshot so once it steps out from behind uh, that brush will go for the shot. I am in a tripod, by the way, and the collar is right there. So we should be good. Uh, she shouldn't be spooking. I'll let her get by that uh, as well, since I was kind of showing where the collar was. Alright, and we'll go for our shot. That is very bright pink-purple uh, blood glitch, but she is down. There must be, like, two or three... Yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of those squares on that one. That's why it's so bright, because usually it's like a purple color. But anyway, pretty much hit everything from head back to the lungs and 6.5 score. Nothing crazy special. I'd like to get one more since uh, Bobcat were one of the uh, species asked for for this video. And then that's probably going to be it, uh, unless I can find one like super quickly. Wow, I was standing over top of the collar and couldn't find it. But we're down here pretty much in the south, so I'm going to uh, loop back up around a bit. We're hidden behind the tent, but let me clear all that. I'm just going to go up that way and see if I can find one more bobcat. We've actually got a pretty nice looking whitetail up here. I know he's spooked, but uh, 165 to 190 score estimate. Let me make sure I have slugs uh, in the 10 gauge. Uh, I've got buckshot from shooting the coyote, so I better... Uh, load slugs because I think I can probably get them at like 70 meters so I'm gonna crawl closer right now the track in front of me is his I've been tracking uh, him being 85 to 100 kilograms uh, for the last couple of minutes and he just happened to walk across the road and I saw him luckily but after him I'd still like to get one more bobcat but this will be the third uh, nice buck of the hunt two mule deer and this guy which should be uh, in the 170s if I'm not mistaken I didn't take a good look 
uh, at his antlers. I wanted to get prone and get going towards him as soon as possible, being that he stopped, uh, and that we can make up some ground. So we'll take a look at him when we actually get him. We'll actually just stop for a sec uh, to look at the range. 67 meters is definitely doable. Crawl just a bit closer since he's still stopped. And I think we can go for the shot there. Definitely don't want to make a bad shot. And that is a bad shot. Not what I wanted to do. Oh, but he did go down. He went down just in front of uh, where I was aiming there. So I wonder if I actually did clip his left lung. Or his... Yeah, should have been his left lung. Because he did go down pretty quickly, and I know the slugs are pretty powerful, but at that range, uh, for him to go down that fast, I think I had to uh, at least clip the lung, because I knew I was risking being kind of far forward there. And yeah, you can see there is lung blood there to the left, so just one lung. So maybe not quite a bad shot, but of course I was trying to hit both. And I think he might be an 8x8, in which case he could be pretty decent scoring. I think he actually is. Uh, maybe he's a 7x7. Seven seven. I guess we can only find out what he scores by picking him up, though. 98 kilograms, and we did just catch the left lung. 170 score, definitely not bad. Unfortunately, he's down in the shade here, but not a bad-looking picture. So we'll see if we can find one more bobcat, but we have four pretty nice animals this hunt, counting the feral hog and three uh, nice bucks, even though we're not even really after deer. We finally have another bobcat coming in, 10 to 25 kilogram male, and it's the normal color. So I think he'll probably be our last harvest of the video. I had to fast travel up here again uh, to the center area, and when I did, uh, he didn't call, but I heard like the meow that they do when you get kind of close to them, so... I knew he was in the area and hopped in this tree stand, so I think he's pretty much uh, in range for a shot. We'll get the 16 gauge and try to take him out. Just had to make sure I still had buckshot load. He is down. That was kind of a nice uh, death animation, actually. That's pretty uh, realistic looking for like a shotgun uh, blast to pretty much the head. I actually really like that. If I remember in editing, I'm going to zoom in on that because that looked pretty decent to me. 22.5 kilograms, 9.1 score. That's my biggest bobcat ever. Finally a 9+. Plus. And we pretty much hit everything, head, heart, lung, intestine even, just completely blasted it with that 16 gauge. I didn't even think it was that big. Uh, the max weight estimate was 25, I think, and they go up to something higher than that, I believe. So I am definitely stoked to end with a 9 bobcat. So I think this looks pretty good. I can't believe we just got a 9 plus bobcat in a hunt where we only had two bobcats total. But actually, the hunt turned out pretty good. It was about two and a half hours. We had three nice bucks, uh, the 1020 feral hog, and our 9 bobcat, my first 9 plus, uh, finally. But don't forget to leave your suggestions for the next Let's Call Hunter video in the comments below. Let me know what animal you like me to hunt, what weapon you like me to hunt it with, and what map you want me to hunt it on. And whatever comment has the most likes in the comments below will be what I do for the next Let's Call Hunter video. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.